Botulinum arthritis is an inflammatory arthritis involves three or more joints. Early signs and symptoms mimic other diseases such as gout, uh, psoriatic arthritis, and systemic lupus erythematosus. Therefore, it can be difficult to diagnose RA in the early stage as symptom of RA could mimic other diseases. Uh, it should, should last for more than six weeks to be properly diagnosed with that condition. However, with details, medical history of symptom and relevant association, a rheumatologist will do a physical examination, uh, checking in swelling to, uh, to assess how um, uh, easily they move, the joint move, swelling, and uh, do blood test, which uh, C-reactive protein will be high, and or uh, uh, ESR, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, positive rheumatoid factor, or positive anti-CCB. RF test usually in 70% of rheumatoid arthritis patient positive. And anti-CCB may be more likely if patient has rheumatoid factor positive plus anti-CCB, this mean will develop severe rheumatoid arthritis, which require high levels of treatment. About one in 20 patients of rheumatoid arthritis patient, uh, I'm sorry, uh, one in 20 people with with uh, without rheumatoid arthritis, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, normal population, when uh, about 5% of normal population has rheumatoid factor positive. So not uh, everyone have rheumatoid factor, he has rheumatoid arthritis. Since not everybody have rheumatoid have been uh, zero negative, then we, we have another type with zero negative uh, rheumatoid arthritis, where the blood test report negative for both the rheumatoid factor and anti-CCB with the absence of any finding, signs, and symptoms of other disease. People with suspected rheumatoid arthritis must be referred urgently. The sooner you catch it, the sooner you can start treatment. Severe symptoms are suggested of RA even less than six weeks, as long as the possibility of other disease have been excluded. As recommended by ULAR, early diagnosis and treatment of RA can markedly decrease disability and pain and very likely lengthen life. Once diagnosis of RA is made, should begin a course of disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, which uh, is called DMARDS. With severe rheumatoid arthritis, the patient will experience swelling and pain in most of their joints, along with deformity in some joints as a result of cartilage destruction. As a rule, the severity of rheumatoid arthritis waxes and wanes. Severe disease is usually treated by combination of demand tablets as a part of initial treatment. If not effective, then biological treatment should be added taken in combination with metrixate or another DMARD. Rheumatoid arthritis can be effectively treated and managed with medications and self-management strategies. People with RA can relieve pain and improve joint function by learning to use five simple and effective arthritis management strategies. First, learn arthritis management strategies by joining a self-management education workshop. Uh, second, be active. Your doctor may refer you to physical or occupational therapist who can teach you exercises to help keep your joints flexible. Uh, the physical activity guidelines for Americans recommend that adults be physically active at moderate intensity for 150 minutes per week. Watch your weight. The number three, watch your weight. The Arthritis Foundation notes that for every pound you lose, you reduce the stress on your weight-bearing uh, joints by four pounds. Uh, number four, see your doctor early, that because uh, early diagnosis and professionally guided management is critical to maintaining a good quality of life. The focus of arthritis treatment is to reduce pain, minimize joint damage, improve or maintain function or quality of life. 
you can play an active role in controlling your arthritis by attending regular appointments with your health care provider and following your recommended treatment plan. Then protect your joints by choosing activities that are easy on the joints, like walking, swimming, bicycling. Assistive device can make it easier to avoid stressing your painful joint. Research studies have shown that holistic approach can provide optimal care for patients with rheumatoid arthritis, as it includes integral um, uh, pharmacological and non-pharmacological therapies. Many non-pharmacological treatments are available for this disease, such as exercise, diet, massage, counseling, stress uh, reduction, physical therapy, and surgery. There are several dietary uh, approach which may be useful for those who are suffering from uh, the symptom of RA, uh, such as anti-inflammatory arthritis, um, fasting, elimination diet, uh, Mediterranean uh, diet. Uh, then a paper published uh, this month in Rheumatology Journal found an association between chronic widespread musculoskeletal pain and the gut microbiome. We know that antibiotics kill the unwanted as well as some beneficial bacteria in the intestines. Therefore, a microbial uh, imbalance could cause leaky gut, which complicating to intestine permeability. This phenomenon allows undigested food proteins to escape into blood screen where they are seen as a foreign body, causing the immune system to engage in unnecessary activities affecting joint and other connective tissue. My clinic and John Hopkins University School of Medicine are among the mainstream institutes which acknowledge that RA can be caused by imbalance of intestinal microbes. In addition, Research proved that rheumatoid arthritis can be caused by stress as triggers of the immune system's inflammatory response in which cytokines are released. Cytokines are chemicals that play an important role in inflammation and can increase the severity of rheumatoid arthritis in some patients. The greater the, greater the exposure to stress, the greater the inflammation become causing a rheumatoid arthritis flare. So, one of uh, advice to patient with rheumatoid arthritis to avoid stress, uh, to uh, uh, reduce any um, like um, if it's a very emotional upset or uh, because as example, if the patient is uh, he has something and with trouble with uh, in this in the house with his wife or children or had other things, and you give uh, treatment. But still, when uh, he go there, he will, uh, I mean, um, we find a lot of trouble. Then there is no benefit of treatment. We have like holistic approach, which make emotional and diet and uh, other lifestyle sleep. Also, uh, I encourage personal responsibility in order to achieve balance and well-being. However, it is important to stress that to prescribe medication and refer patient to surgeon whenever it's necessary. In another way, I combine traditional medicine alongside with complementary and alternative medicine with uh, the um, uh, summary cam to treat a patient. For example, when a person suffering from rheumatoid visit me in my clinic, either in Saudi Arabia or uh, London, instead of prescribing medication only, I will look at the risk important factors that may be aggravating the disease, such as other health and lifestyle problems, such as diet, exercise, psychotherapy, and sleep habits, emotional stress, and personal problems. Sometimes we need to refer patients to uh, psychotherapy, um, to a dietitian. It's not just uh, I take the patient only, I'm treat the patient. I have like a group uh, or team, team therapy, uh, include uh, uh, physiotherapy also we or maybe we'll try 
to uh, send patient to uh, for physiotherapy. I'm doing now laser, uh, what they call low level laser acupuncture. Instead of uh, giving uh, medication uh, like um, nonsteroidal, because uh, it has several side effects in the stomach and kidney. So I try to um, do laser acupuncture, which increase the endorphin and serotonin in our body, which like natural substance. And uh, then I add uh, methotrexate or uh, salusopyrine or blaconil, other drugs. But uh, instead of uh, painkiller, I am using a low level laser. And it's supposed to be between six to 12 sessions. I try to minimize to one or two sessions. 